So you want to learn how to download and install the identity mod from Minecraft 1.19? Well, let me tell you, you have come to the right place because I'm going to teach you how to download and install this mod and also how to fix some issues that you might find out on the way. Let's get started. And just before we get started with the step-by-step -step tutorial on how to install the identity mod, let me tell you real quick about Apex Hosting. If you click on the first link right now in the description, you'll be able to sign up with Apex Hosting and start your first Minecraft server with 25% off. Now, the great thing about Apex Hosting, besides all the advantages that it provides you with right here, is that you're able to access the console, the server console from your phone. How amazing is that? Imagine being out there like a Walmart and you're able to access the server and OP people, change the time, change the settings of the server from your phone. I believe that's amazing and that is the reason why I use Apex Hosting for my own Bedrock server. I'm going to leave that link in the description and now let's get started with the tutorial. Obviously, step number one is to download the identity mod. In this tutorial, we're going to be using the Forge version. To download the identity mod, click on the second link in the description, which will bring you to a written guide on how to download the mod. Anyways, that's for those that like to read. The main thing here though, if you don't like reading, is just to click where it says download identity which will redirect you over here to this website where we're going to scroll down until we find the desired version and the desired instance for example we're going to be installing 1.19 forge version of the identity mod and as you can see you have a lot of different game versions in here including 1.19.1 if that's the one that you want to install feel free to look for it and then find the forge or the fabric but in this case we're going to install the forge for 1.19 so that's what we're going to do we're going to scroll down a little bit and i can't even find it in here so what am i going to do is i'm going to click on view all i'm going to change the game version here to Minecraft 1.19 and that is going to make it easier for me to find 1.19 as you can see Forge 1.19 came right up as you can see right there I'm going to go ahead and click on download file it's going to redirect me over here where in five seconds the download will start automatically for the jar files in my case it's going to ask me but for many of you it's just going to download automatically that's just a safety procedure that I have added once the mod has downloaded I'm going to go ahead and drop it into my desktop to make it easier for you guys to follow along but you could find it in your downloads folder in your computer now that we have the mod we actually need an API an API for many of you that don't know what that is. It's pretty much a library that allows a lot of mods to run. And Identity Mod is one of those mods that needs an API. The API specifically that Identity Mod needs, it's the Architecture API. As you can see, we have a written guide on how to download and install this mod. But again, for those of you that don't want to read, I'm going to teach you how to do it. Just click on that third link in the description, which will bring you over here where we're going to click download right here where it says step one, right? Just scroll down, click download. That's going to redirect you over here where you're going to scroll down and you're going to find the matching version and the matching instance. Since we downloaded Identity 1.19 Forge, we're going to download Architecture API 1.19 for Forge. As you can see, it's right here. If you look right here, it says 1.19 and it says Forge 1.19. So I'm going to go ahead and click on download file. That is going to redirect me over here where in five seconds, the download will start automatically. Again, in my case, it's going to ask me if I want to save it in there. I'm going to click save and that is going to download the file in here, which of course I'm going to drop into the desktop. Now, the next step is to get Forge working our computer because I'm assuming that most of you do not have Forge and that's why you're watching this tutorial. If you already have Forge, feel free to scroll through this part, but I'm going to teach you how to install Forge 1.19 real quick. Forge 1.19 is pretty much going to allow us to have modern Minecraft, so that's why we need it. To install Forge, it's really simple. Click on that fourth link in the description, which again, you guessed it, is our written guide on how to install Forge. The main thing here though, is to scroll down until you find where it says download Forge here. You're going to click on that big button that is going to redirect you to the Forge official website. And as you can see, Forge 1.19 is automatically selected, but there's a chance when you come over here, you have 1.19.1. So if you don't see 1.19 automatically selected, just click here on the bottom left until you find 1.19, click on it, 1.19, just the 1.19 version, and then click on the installer, which is going to redirect you over here where you're not going to click anything. You're just going to wait five seconds again until a button that says skip appear in the top right. I know there's a lot of waiting, a lot of five seconds waiting, but that's just the way it is, guys. Go ahead and click on a skip. That is going to start the download immediately. In my case, it asked me though, because that's just how I have it set up. I'm going to wait for Forge to download. As you can see, it's quite fast downloading. And now we could pretty much start doing the whole process. Now, chances are many of you are going to need to update Java in order to get Forge 1.19 working because any modern Minecraft above 1.16.5 will require you to have either Java 17th or Java 18th. It really depends on the mod. Some of them need you to have Java 17th. Some other needs you to have Java 18th. In my case, I already have Java 18th installed, but if you want to learn how to install Java. We do have a tutorial on that, a written guide. So just read through it. I'm going to leave the links in the description to install Java as well the links to run a jar fix just in case many of you don't get these cops in here or whenever you try to install Forge, you get some problems with the Java installation. We have a guide on how to install Java 
I think and how to install Jarfix. And I even have videos on it on how to install Java, I think, and how to run a Jarfix. So I'm actually going to link those in the description as well for you guys that need to fix your jar files. Okay. So, anyways, I'm assuming that you already updated Java, that you have the newest Java. By the way, if you don't know how to check your Java, just click where it says type here to search, type out of room programs, and then go ahead and open it. And in here where it says search list, just type Java. And as you can see, we have Java 18. We have the newest Java. Many of you have Java 8, Java 7, and you need to update it to the 17th or 18th, which we have guides on that. But anyways, once we have Java updated, we have our jar files working. How do we start? How do we install this? Well, the first thing you want to do is actually run Minecraft 1.19 at least once, just vanilla Minecraft. Go ahead and open your Minecraft launcher, launch Minecraft 1.19, let it run. And then once you're in the main menu, you can close out from the game and make sure you close the browser as well. I mean, the launcher. So once you close the launcher, go ahead and come back to the desktop where you have your Forge 1.19 installation file and go ahead and double click on it. As simple as that, that is going to launch the Forge installer immediately. And in here, we're not going to change the settings. We don't want to run a server, neither extract the file. We're just going to select install client, which should be selected by default. And then we're going to click OK. That is going to start the installation for Forge. It should be quite fast. I mean, it could take longer for many of you or less for many of you. It depends on your computer and your internet speed, etc. But it should be around 20 to 30 seconds. I'm not even going to cut through. As you can see, it's almost done. Let's just wait for that to finish. I actually ended up cutting through it because it took like five seconds longer than I expected. And I didn't want to leave that awkward silence in here. So as you can see, once Forge has been installed, this is what you're going to get successfully install client for Forge version 1.19. Go ahead and click on OK. Now you could even delete the Forge installer and you could delete this Forge file that appears when you install Forge. Now, how do we add these mods into the Forge version of Minecraft? Go ahead and launch your Minecraft launcher. It's quite simple, actually. Just launch the Minecraft launcher. And once the Minecraft launcher has opened, go ahead and click where it says installations. And in here, you're going to make sure that modded is selected. As you can see, I don't have modded selected, so Forge doesn't show. Go ahead and click on modded. And now Forge 1.19 is showing. For many of you, when you come and install Forge and you open the Minecraft launcher, if you have modded selected, Forge will show automatically here. So that's how you know you install Forge successfully, pretty much. But anyways, just go to installations and you make sure that modded is selected and you should see Forge. If Forge doesn't show that way, just click on new installation and where it says version, just scroll down until you find Forge 1.19. As you can see, we have it right here, Forge 1.19. Go ahead and click on it and you can name this whatever you want, like Forge, and you can change the icon, etc. But the main thing is just to come over here and find Forge. Once we have Forge found, go ahead and click on this folder that appears when you hover over the Forge instance. Go ahead and click on it. If you downloaded the Fabric version of the mod and not the Forge one, you could also do it the same way. Just open the mods folder for Fabric. Well, anyways, once you open this folder, you're going to minimize your Minecraft launcher and you're going to find a folder called MODS for mods, MODS, okay? Yes, I can't even speak right now. So go ahead and open this folder. If by any reason this folder doesn't show when you come over here, just go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and delete it. Go ahead and right click, click new, and then click folder, right? Select folder, as you can see right here. And you could type MODS. As you can see, we now have a mods folder. We created it ourselves. That's for those of you that won't have a mods folder when you open the Forge folder for Minecraft. Go ahead and open this folder and just drag and drop identity mod and architecture IPI. Now that we have these two mods installed, that we have Forge 1.19 installed, and that we have Java updating our computer, it's time to come back to the Minecraft launcher and launch Forge 1.19 to test our mods to see if they are working. Go ahead and click on play. So once the game has opened, once the Forge 1.19 has opened, we know we're in Forge because it says warning Forge beta because right now Forge 1.19 is just on beta, but it still works with the mods. And as you can see here in the bottom left, it says four mods loaded. Anyways, we're going to check if our mods actually loaded. So go ahead and click on mods. And as you can see, we have the architecture IPI and we have the identity mod. Now we're ready to play. So as you can see, I'm trying to kill this cow to see if it says something about the identity when it dies and we know the mod is working. Come here, cow. I'm sorry. It's just for the tutorial purposes, I swear. As you can see, it says unlock cow identity in the bottom. Also, no cows were hurting in the making of this tutorial. That was just a fake scene. Okay, that was a fake cow. But yeah, guys, as you can see, the mod is working. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And as always, bye bye.